Hello, this is my orchestra setup. Uh, we're playing Pops Hoedown, and so I need a, a large number of special effects. So, just to describe my setup, um, I've got a uh, gong, a little china gong here. I've got a collection of three different wood blocks that I can play. And I've mounted with a wood clamp, you can kind of see there, um, there's a wood clamp uh, mounting this Kessing here. I have a place where, then the music it says, metal tray drops on the floor, so I'm going to make a metal tray sound with that. Down here I've got another jam block, a piccolo jam block that I can play with the foot. I have another piece where I, it's a Latin flavor and I need to do claves, but in order to keep my hands uh, free so I can do other stuff, I'm going to be using the piccolo wood block there. And then I've got a, it's kind of hard to see, I've got an LP cowbell mounted onto the drum, onto the kick drum. And then over here, um, I've got my kibasa, and I'll show in a second how I've got that mounted, but this allows me to do this with one hand. Uh, I have a place where I need to do a couple different bell type sounds, so I've got the, the zill bell, sound effect bell, which is cool. And then I've got over here the turbo crasher, which can be played a couple ways. You can just hit it to get kind of a crashy sound, or you can use the drumstick across it, uh, kind of a weirdo sound. Um, I'm probably going to use it as a ratchet sound for uh, the hoedown until I get my ratchet in the mail. So to show you how I've mounted my kibasa here, I have a small kibasa and I thought about buying a, uh, a legit uh, holder, but since this is the the small version, I wasn't sure if it was going to fit, and I thought, well, let me just try to MacGyver this. So what I've done here, let me remove this. I've got this mounted sideways um, with a Z rod, and then I've got this mount that came with uh, this with this LP. Uh, actually, I bought it separately, but um, it works with this LP Agogo, and I did it sideways because of the thickness of the wire I'm using here. This is this wire came from uh, it's actually a gardening thing to uh, label your plants. Uh, you stick it in the ground. Uh, the thickness of this wire is is thinner, so I used a little bit of foam, and the Agogo is usually mounted uh, straight up, so um, that's why this is mounted um, sideways and then this is a water uh, bottle right here and I mounted in some black foam and uh, these are just straws that are taped on here and uh, let's see if I can get that in focus um, these are just straws that just slide in here and then I use the um, let's see if I can thread this back in here with one hand nope I can't um, and then uh, to increase the friction, I just use a washcloth here so that it will actually have enough friction. Um, and it all works pretty well. And that's it.